No, salt is important. There's a verse in the Bible that talks about salt. It's Matthew 5, chapter 5, verse 13. It says, Ye are the salt of the earth. If the salt hath lost its savour, wherewith shall it be salted? So when you're feeling a little tired or maybe a little bit peckish mid-morning, have the salt and have the water and you'll get a little bit of a pickup. Let's talk about salt, a mineral so crucial that ancient civilizations traded it like gold. Yet, somehow, modern medicine often overlooks its true value. Barbara O'Neill, a natural health expert, brings this ancient wisdom back into the spotlight, emphasizing that salt isn't just a seasoning for food, but an essential element for life itself. So, let's uncover the facts about how salt, in its purest form, works wonders in the body. Information that often gets brushed aside. Salt the lifeblood of humanity. Barbara starts by saying something that might surprise you. Salt is life. What does that mean exactly? Well, it's quite simple. Salt plays an irreplaceable role in maintaining the proper functioning of our body. Every cell, every organ, and every drop of blood in your system depends on this tiny mineral. Without salt, life ceases to exist, literally. That's not just Barbara's claim. It's a fact deeply rooted in human history. Civilizations have revolved around salt. It wasn't just a luxury or a condiment. It was a survival necessity. They knew that salt was more than something to sprinkle on food. It was vital to staying alive. No, we need salt as it's found in nature with all of its other minerals. And this salt brings a balance. Hydration isn't just water, it's salt too. When we think about hydration, most of us picture drinking gallons of water. But according to Barbara, there's a big problem with that approach. If you're drinking water without balancing your salt intake, you're actually heading towards dehydration at a cellular level. Strange, right? But here's why. When we drink water, it doesn't necessarily mean our cells are getting hydrated. Water without salt doesn't fully penetrate the cells. It's salt that helps push the water into the cells and keeps them hydrated. Ever notice that sometimes, after chugging down water, you still feel thirsty? That's your body telling you it needs more than just water. A pinch of salt, Barbara suggests, can make a world of difference. The only time excess water drinking can be dangerous is if people drink too much at once and don't have the minerals that are in the Celtic salt to pull that water inside the cell. I've had people complain to me, they say, I'm drinking more water now and now I'm going to the bathroom all day. So I say, are you, are you having the salt? Have a little crystal be before every glass of water. Now, let's pause here. This isn't about throwing regular table salt into your water. No, Barbara advocates for unrefined natural salts like Celtic sea salt. These salts are loaded with minerals that modern day table salt just can't offer. The difference between refined and unrefined salt. Salt plays a big role in our diets, but not all salt is the same. In fact, Barbara O'Neill makes it clear that there's a huge difference between the salt most people use and the types of salt that actually benefit our health. First, let's talk about table salt, the kind you're probably most familiar with. This is the salt that's found on every restaurant table and in most kitchens. It's highly processed, which means that during manufacturing, it gets stripped of almost all of its natural minerals. What you're left with is basically just sodium and chloride. This process takes away key nutrients, making it a less healthy option. In fact, Barbara explains that this type of refined salt has been linked to several serious health issues, such as high blood pressure and heart disease. That's because when you consume a lot of sodium without the balance of other minerals, it can create problems for your body. So while it may add flavor to your food, it's not doing your health any favors. Table salt is a dangerous, is a dangerous salt because we now have two very harsh minerals that if you were in to inject both of those into the blood, you would die. Now, here's where things get interesting. Other types of salt actually offer health benefits. Unrefined salts like Himalayan salt and Celtic salt, unlike table salt, are not processed in the same harsh way, so they retain a lot of their original minerals. Barbara shares that these unrefined salts contain around 80 to 84 different minerals, including magnesium, calcium, and potassium, all of which are essential for keeping your body functioning well. Magnesium, for example, 
helps with muscle function and energy production, while calcium is crucial for bone health, and potassium supports heart and kidney functions. What my daughter always had in her children's bedroom was a Himalayan salt lamp. Have you seen those? It's like this huge lump of Himalayan salt with the light in there. That's a very nice soft light, and that's giving off uh, negative ions, the electrically charged oxygen molecules. So how could that give off negative ions? Don't you need movement and moisture and air? Well, the air's there, and there's definitely the moisture in the magnesiums, in the salts, but you've also got the frequency of the lamp It's causing enough movement to give off negative ions so they can help purify the air in a small way. Barbara emphasizes that if you're going to eat salt, you should choose the right type. Himalayan and Celtic salts, for example, are great alternatives because they work in harmony with your body, providing essential minerals that help regulate everything from hydration to nerve function. It's about balance, getting sodium along with a whole range of other minerals instead of just the empty sodium content that comes with table salt. This distinction between refined and unrefined salts is something most people aren't aware of. Many of us have been using table salt for so long without realizing how it's affecting our bodies. But once you understand the benefits of natural salts, it's clear that making a switch could have a positive impact on your health. An Epsom salts is magnesium sulfate. And magnesium is a, um, a muscle relaxant. So if someone's stressed out, sore muscles, can't sleep, they can have a, a Epsom salts bath before they go to bed. Even put a couple of cups of Epsom salts in a hot bath. And remember, it does three things. It re relaxes the muscles, and you might do it for aching muscles. You might do it for um, if you're stressed, and you might do it if you can't sleep, because magnesium and moist heat relax the muscles. In short, Barbara's message is simple. Salt itself isn't the enemy, but the type of salt you consume matters a lot. Table salt will get the blood pressure up. And so will no salt, because your cells need that little bit of salt. So my suggestion is to take the Celtic salt. The Celtic salt contains 82 minerals, and the Himalayan salt, it contains 75 minerals. One of the beauties of the Celtic salt is it has three magnesiums, and magnesium is a muscle relaxant, and magnesium relaxes that heart at rest. Dr. Lee Langry is a French doctor who's written a whole book on salt. If someone comes to him with high blood pressure, he puts them straight on Celtic salt. If they're not used to any salt, start small, start very small, and then little by little ease it in. In Matthew, Chapter 5, verse 13, it says in the Bible, you yeah, are the salt of the earth, if the salt hath lost its savour. By choosing unrefined salts like Himalayan or Celtic salt, you're not only adding flavour to your food, but also giving your body the minerals it needs to stay healthy. So, next time you're seasoning your meal, take a moment to consider what kind of salt you're reaching for. It could make a big difference in your overall health. Digestion. Salt's secret role. Salt also holds the key to healthy digestion. Let's break it down. The human body relies on hydrochloric acid to digest food, especially proteins. Guess what's essential for producing that hydrochloric acid? You guessed it right, it's salt. Barbara explains that without enough salt, your body can't produce sufficient stomach acid, which leads to poor digestion. It's one of those things we rarely think about, but it's crucial. People might turn to antacids and other solutions for digestive issues, but Barbara argues that the answer could be as simple as ensuring you have enough salt in your diet. What's avocado and tomato on sourdough spelt toast without salt? Salt awakens the food. And your hydrochloric acid is made from chloride. We cannot digest properly unless we're having adequate salt. Again, this isn't about grabbing that shaker of processed salt on your table. We're talking about high quality salt with all the minerals intact. When your body lacks this essential component, your digestive system suffers, which can lead to a cascade of health issues. Absorbing nutrients thanks to salt. The next point Barbara makes is about nutrient absorption. Now, this is where things get really interesting. Salt is a key player when it comes to absorbing nutrients. Ever heard of sodium glucose transport? 
It's a fancy term that basically means salt helps your body absorb glucose, your main source of energy from the food you eat. Without enough salt, your body struggles to absorb nutrients properly, and this can lead to fatigue, weakness, and a range of other health issues. When you put the, that Celtic salt in your mouth and you crunch it, and you release those minerals, the mucous membranes in your mouth absorb the minerals, and it's taken to the cell, then you have your water, the magnesium pulls the water inside the cell. It's the quickest way to hydrate a body. Imagine eating a well-balanced meal full of vitamins and minerals, but not getting the full benefit because your body can't absorb it properly. That's the role salt plays. It's the transporter, ensuring all that good stuff from your food makes its way into your bloodstream and cells. Sodium is the main transport system of glucose across the brush border cell and into the blood. You will find that in every anatomy and physiology book. The electrical energy of cells. Barbara doesn't stop at hydration and digestion. She dives even deeper into the cellular level, explaining how salt is essential for energy production. Now, this isn't something you'll often hear in mainstream health discussions. Every cell in your body produces energy through electrical charges, and salt plays a crucial role in generating those charges. It's sodium and potassium, the dynamic duo of the electrolyte world, that create electrical impulses, allowing your cells to function optimally. As I said, sodium and chloride are both important. Sodium is used everywhere in the body. It's in its largest abundance on the outside of the cell. We call that extracellular fluid. And the largest concentration of mineral inside the cell is potassium. Think of your cells like tiny batteries, constantly producing and using energy to keep your body running. Without the right balance of salt, those batteries start to lose their charge. And that's when fatigue, sluggishness, and even chronic health issues start to creep in. Barbara emphasizes that proper salt intake is key to keeping your cellular energy levels up and running smoothly. My suggestion is about a teaspoon of salt in a day, over the day. If a person's not used to having salt, I say start small. Start small, just little by little increase it and your body will adapt to that. Just as it adapts to no salt, it will start to adapt to proper salt. Regulating blood pressure the right way. O'Neill presents a compelling argument regarding the role of salt in regulating blood pressure, challenging the conventional wisdom that salt should be avoided altogether. According to Barbara, the problem isn't salt itself, but the type of salt most people consume. The refined table salt, typically found in households and processed foods, is stripped of nearly all its natural minerals, leaving behind primarily sodium chloride. This form of salt, consumed in excess, can contribute to high blood pressure because it disrupts the delicate balance of electrolytes in the body, leading to increased fluid retention and strain on blood vessels. But when this happens, you see osmosis and diffusion happens when the highest concentration merges into the lowest. So now sodium levels inside the cell are rising, which they should not, and the cell swells. What's that called? High blood pressure. The doctor is right. Table salt will, will contribute to high blood pressure. However, Barbara argues that unrefined salts, like Himalayan pink salt and Celtic sea salt, can have a different effect on the body. These natural salts contain a variety of essential minerals, including magnesium, potassium, and calcium, which work together to help regulate blood pressure. Sodium, one of the main components of salt, plays a crucial role in maintaining the balance of fluids in your cells and bloodstream. But when paired with the right balance of other minerals, particularly potassium, sodium can function more effectively in managing blood pressure. There's a French doctor named Dr. Le Langry, and he's written a whole book on salt. He said, when people come to me with high blood pressure, I put them on Celtic salt. Why does he put them on Celtic salt? Because Celtic salt contains 82 minerals. It's a hand harvested sea salt. Potassium, in particular, is a key player in blood pressure regulation because it counteracts the effects of sodium. When there is too much sodium, and not enough potassium in the body, the kidneys struggle to filter out the excess sodium, leading to higher fluid retention and consequently, 
higher blood pressure. When unrefined salt, which contains small amounts of potassium, is used in moderation, it helps to balance this ratio and support kidney function in maintaining a proper fluid balance. Magnesium, another mineral found in natural salt, helps relax blood vessels, which can also reduce blood pressure. When blood vessels are relaxed, they allow blood to flow more easily reducing the force needed to pump blood through the arteries. This prevents the heart from overworking and helps maintain steady, healthy blood pressure levels. One of the beauties of the Celtic salt is it has three magnesiums, and magnesium is a muscle relaxant, and magnesium relaxes that heart at rest. Dr. Lee Langry is a French doctor who's written a whole book on salt. If someone comes to him with high blood pressure, he puts them straight on Celtic salt. If they're not used to any salt, start small, start very small, and then little by little ease it in. In Matthew chapter 5 verse 13, it says in the Bible, Ye are the salt of the earth, if the salt hath lost its savour. Barbara suggests that by choosing unrefined salts over the typical refined versions and using them in moderation, individuals can help their bodies naturally regulate blood pressure without experiencing the negative side effects commonly associated with high sodium intake. The Role of Salt in pH Balance Another often overlooked benefit of salt is its role in maintaining the body's pH balance. Barbara explains that the body needs to maintain a slightly alkaline pH level to function optimally. When the body becomes too acidic, it can lead to a host of health problems, including inflammation, weakened immunity, and chronic diseases. Salt, particularly unrefined sea salts, can help maintain this delicate pH balance. The minerals found in natural salt, such as magnesium and calcium, help neutralize excess acidity in the body, promoting a more alkaline environment. This, in turn, supports overall health and vitality. Barbara stresses that the importance of maintaining pH balance cannot be overstated. An acidic body is a breeding ground for disease, while an alkaline body is more resilient and is better able to ward off illness. Salt and skin health. When it comes to skin care, Barbara O'Neill has some fascinating insights into the benefits of salt, especially for maintaining a healthy complexion. You might be surprised to learn just how much salt can do for your skin beyond just making food taste better. According to Barbara, salt can be a powerful tool when used externally, offering several benefits that help keep your skin looking fresh and radiant. First off, let's talk about exfoliation. Salt, particularly when used in scrubs, is excellent at removing dead skin cells. This process helps to unclog your pores, which is important for keeping your skin clear and smooth. By gently rubbing a salt scrub on your skin, you're getting rid of the layer of dead skin that can dull your complexion, allowing fresh, healthy skin to shine through. It's like giving your skin a mini makeover. Plus, salt scrubs don't just exfoliate. They also help to improve blood circulation. When you massage salt into your skin, it stimulates the blood flow, giving your skin a natural, healthy glow. So, if you're looking to freshen up your appearance, a good salt scrub could be just the thing you need. But that's not all. Barbara also points out that salt has incredible antimicrobial properties. This means it can help kill bacteria that live on the surface of your skin, making it an effective treatment for acne and other skin conditions. If you've ever struggled with breakouts or oily skin, Incorporating salt into your skincare routine could be a game changer. When bacteria get into your pores, it can cause inflammation and acne, but salt helps to neutralize these harmful microbes. By keeping your skin clean and bacteria free, you can reduce the likelihood of developing blemishes. Barbara really emphasizes how important it is to use natural ingredients like salt to promote healthy skin. Many commercial skincare products contain harsh chemicals that can irritate the skin but salt offers a more natural alternative. And it's not just about fighting acne. Salt also has a soothing effect on the skin. If you have sensitive skin or suffer from conditions like eczema or psoriasis, a salt bath can help calm irritation and reduce redness. Barbara suggests adding some Himalayan or sea salt to your bath water to soak in all the benefits. It's an easy and relaxing way to nourish your skin while you unwind. One thing to keep in mind though, is that while salt is fantastic for exfoliating, you don't want to overdo it. Barbara recommends using salt scrubs only a couple of times a week, as too much exfoliation can leave your skin feeling dry or irritated. So, balance is key. Incorporating salt into your skincare routine doesn't have to be complicated. Whether you're making your DIY salt scrub or just adding a bit of salt to your bath, the benefits are clear, literally. Not only does it help with exfoliation and acne, but it also leaves your skin feeling refreshed and glowing. So, next time you're thinking about how to treat your skin, consider giving salt a try. Your skin will thank you. Salt in Ancient Times 
a currency of life. Let's take a trip back in time. In ancient civilizations, salt was so valuable it was used as currency. People literally traded their goods and services for salt. Roman soldiers were even paid in salt, which is where the word salary comes from. Barbara highlights this historical significance to show just how important salt was in ancient times. The ancients knew something we seem to have forgotten today. They understood that salt wasn't just a luxury, it was a necessity for life. From preserving food to maintaining health, Salt was at the center of daily life. Barbara believes we need to reconnect with this ancient wisdom in modern times. Barbara also highlights the use of salt in traditional medicine systems around the world. For centuries, natural healers have used salt to treat a variety of ailments, from skin conditions to respiratory issues. In Ayurveda, for example, salt is considered a vital substance that balances the body's doshas and supports overall health. Similarly, in traditional Chinese medicine, salt is believed to strengthen the kidneys and enhance the flow of qi, vital energy, throughout the body. Whereas Celtic salt, with all of its minerals, awakens the taste buds. You can get other salts, like Himalayan salt. It has about 82 min minerals. There's a Murray River salt, and they're both like pink flakes. It's got about, I think, 75 minerals. These traditional practices offer valuable insights into salt's healing potential. While modern medicine tends to focus on treating symptoms with pharmaceutical interventions, traditional medicine looks at the body as a whole and seeks to restore balance. Salt plays a key role in this approach, helping to bring the body back into harmony. Barbara believes that we can learn a lot from these ancient healing traditions. By reintroducing salt into our diets in a mindful, balanced way, we can tap into the healing wisdom of the past and support our health in ways that modern medicine often overlooks. Salt, more than just sodium. At this point, it should be clear that salt is much more than just sodium chloride. While we often hear about the dangers of consuming too much sodium, Barbara argues that this is only part of the story. Natural salts contain a wide range of minerals that are essential for health, and it's these minerals that make salt such a powerful healing agent. Sodium, potassium, magnesium, calcium, and dozens of other trace minerals work together in harmony to support the body's vital functions. Without them, the body can't function properly. Dr. Robert Thompson says, if you put a little crystal of Celtic salt on your tongue before every glass of water, he says all you're doing is replacing the minerals you lost yesterday in your urine, uh, in your perspiration, uh, in your bowel movements. Barbara stresses the importance of consuming whole, unrefined salts that contain all of these minerals rather than processed table salt, which has been stripped of its nutritional value. Reclaiming the wisdom of salt. In conclusion, Barbara O'Neill's message is clear. It's time to reclaim the ancient wisdom of salt. For too long, we've been told to fear salt, but the truth is that this mineral is essential for life. By choosing natural, unrefined salts and consuming them in moderation, we can support our health in ways that modern medicine often overlooks. From hydration and digestion to cellular energy and mental clarity, salt plays a vital role in every aspect of our health. It's time to bring this ancient wisdom back into our lives and recognize salt for what it truly is, a miracle mineral that has been valued for thousands of years. So next time you reach for that salt shaker, think twice about the kind of salt you're using. Your body and your health will thank you for it. How are you going to incorporate salt again into your diet? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more amazing content.